concept of this is kind of be a 24-hour building. You know, we have security in here and students can use this 24 hours a day. And it kind of be the only building we have on campus that students would be able to do that 24 hours a day because of the material we have. So we brought that over to here and actually expanded the menu so the students can now have another option on campus. You know, and then once the patio is, you know, in the summertime, you'd be able to sit out on the patio with umbrellas and kind of look look on Maple Street. This is the Renacy uh, Forum and Center for, uh, for Civic Engagement. Um, this is actually a classroom. Uh, it looks like a lounge, but it, uh, this is academic space. Uh, we have um, a couple of learning communities uh, that are devoted to uh, problem solving. Uh, we have a community called the Leaders in Social Justice uh, who work on domestic issues, the Blue and Global Scholars who work on global issues. So students actually take a, a, an issue and spend four years studying it. Um, so we do things like healthcare, the opioid crisis, uh, global hunger. Uh, so those students have this space uh, to meet. This is our design thinking classroom. Uh, so. We're trying to promote this idea that students need to kind of come together and iterate and, and, and solve problems uh, kind of through trial and error. The projectors we've used in, we decided upon are more of an interactive, so we can actually have students connect into them with their mobile devices. If we wanted to, we could actually Skype and Zoom and do video conferencing through those. They're touch interactive, so you can actually write on them at the same time and displaying things. All the things that the faculty have wanted in the past that were multiple types of technology, we can actually now put it into one, one technology. And this is the St. Teresa of Calcutta Chapel, named in honor of St. Teresa, Mother Teresa, who visited Walsh. Yeah. have to have the computers to, sub to support the programming side of things but also in the back too as we build out our networking major so next week we'll actually start seeing equipment being put in those racks to be able to support that piece and then also too this room was designed so as we move farther into cybersecurity and we want to do events like ethical hacking and you know do some of the red team blue team and who can you know who can hack who each other this room can actually be taken off the grid off the network we can isolate it from the rest of the campus. This is the, the lab for our graphic design majors. It was actually designed by, uh, by the students and the professors uh, said that, you, you know, talked about what they needed. So you've got the, the big uh, screen, high resolution Macs, uh, but also the, the uh, bulletin board where they can pin up prototypes and again, a lot of whiteboard space. So control room here, studio in there. Uh, our goal is again to have students starting to develop their own content. Um, whether it's it's starting to produce their own news program or creating documentaries, uh, but but again with professional quality. Again, as you know, we we felt things we've got to work on. There's some other pieces we'll be putting in here, but. At least it has the state of the art you know, camera systems are what you're going to find on a typical news set. Um, the lighting for the green screens, if we want to do that, you know, the computer generated images in the back, so we'll be able to do that. And then the students will be from the control room, will be able to control all of 